building into the future today. General Electric broke ground on its new Seaport campus. And GE says it's not your grandma's headquarters, and the mayor is projecting it'll bring millions in new tax money. But not everyone is happy about it. WBZ's Anna Rittis Rodriguez was there with the story. On the former site of the Neco Candy Company, General Electric has found a sweet spot. This is not a year or two decision or a month or a quarter. This is a decades, 50-year decision that we make. Governor Charlie Baker and Mayor Marty Walsh joined GE CEO Monday, turned the ceremonial dirt, and officially broke ground on what will be known as GE Innovation Point. The 2.4-acre campus in the city's Seaport District will combine two old brick houses with a new 12-story building, house 800 workers, and provide public space. This site is going to increase taxes for the city of Austin over 25 years by a projected $67 million. GE also pledging to invest in the state, committing $25 million to Boston Public Schools and access to tech labs like this one. Last year, 200 English school students learned how to work 3D printers and laser cutters. There were a handful of protesters. Bail me out with the banks. Claim lawmakers lured the company with taxpayers' money. More than 120 million in state grants will help the site's development, and the city is giving GE a $25 million tax break. The so called uh, economic uh, comeback is not really helping the average person. But what we need instead is to charge corporations more and charge them what they actually owe. Mayor Walsh says GE has committed to hiring Boston residents. The governor calls the partnership the continuing evolution of Massachusetts as a global leader. The $200 million base is set to open by the end of 2018. In Boston, I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.